Let's go food shopping at an American food store. Now, wherever you're from, hopefully it's not America's, but even if you are from America, did you ever notice how watching videos of people in food stores is the best video of the watch? I think it's because all the bright colors and who doesn't want to watch a video of a food store? There's all kinds of junk to eat here. Bananas, apples. I don't even know if I'm allowed to record video in the food store. But let's try to get some fish or coconuts. Do they have any coconuts here? You know what I wanted to talk to you guys about was while we're shopping for food, I'm gonna talk about tips and tricks on how to be alone completely and survive. Granted, I do have my girlfriend who lives in the Philippines, but it's you're with people virtually, but you're still pretty much alone. Oh, you got this is all the kinds of fruit we got here. Now that I think about it, this video is almost almost just a video for her because I can show her American food store, but why not just share it with everybody? Oh, here's a lot of kombucha. If you guys ever had kombucha, it's delicious. And it looks like they have a new flavor. Well, what I was gonna say was tips for being alone. Number one, get a routine. When you have a routine, it will save you because a lot of times you might feel depressed or lonely or something, but if you have a routine where you're just doing things, going places, even nonsensical things, like, I'm not joking, but if there's nothing to do near you, then just go to a food store. Find stuff like that to do. It's very important. The worst possible thing to do if you're in a situation where you're living alone is um, don't, don't stay home and you just think you're getting social interaction from being on your phone, you're not. There's something that happens when you get out of the house. That's stage one. So once you're getting out, and let's say you live in the middle of nowhere, there's nothing to do, you just go to the food store, you do something like that, that's, that's a good, good start. But then the second thing to do is, once you have a routine where you're going anywhere or somewhere, the best thing to do is to, um, the next part, oh yeah, is to actually find somebody to have a conversation with because when you can have a conversation with people, you're gonna find that that will change your entire day. So I want you to pay attention to your mood. When you get out of the house, you might feel a little better, but the next day, try doing something different. Try talking to people. And when you talk to somebody or have a basic conversation, it could be the cashier or whatever, they're gonna feel a lot better. Now, number three probably should have been number one, but exercise. There is nothing more important than getting exercise because when you do any kind of exercise, even if it's walking around the block, you're gonna feel way better. I'm gonna pause this for a second and buy a fish. Never mind. I'm not waiting in line to buy a fish. So, really, the three things I just said is probably almost all you need. There's an example of all the meat they have here in America. You got every kind of meat. Look at all this meat you got. Steaks. That looks really good, actually. Maybe I should get one of these. Look at this. This is awesome. Why is this so expensive? $54, jeez. What else do we got? I mean, I should get enough for everybody. Let's get this. Yeah, so you combine getting out of the house with getting exercise, and you're gonna have a killer combo. Fourth thing you should do is maybe just make a video talking to yourself because that makes you feel like you're talking to real people. And I guess you guys are real people, but all right, that's enough. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys the, uh, the bakery area. I don't know, to me this isn't as fun as the fruit area. You can see there's some nice cakes. All right, we got the meat. We just need some kind of seasoning now. Actually, my friend probably has some seasoning. All right. I look like a lunatic walking around a store, filming a store. Actually, I don't know, maybe I lied. I don't know if there is a lot of videos of people in grocery stores. But I personally like to watch videos where people are outside doing menial tasks. That's a snack. That's all right. All right, so let's see if we can get to the, hope for the self-checkout here. Let me see. Yep, they do. Self-checkout. Here we go. Oh yeah, in New Jersey, they don't let you have bags. Bags are illegal in New Jersey, which is the weirdest thing I've ever heard of. I gotta get my credit card. Can you select your payment number? Okay. Oh no, this was zoomed in. That whole video is gonna be ruined. System processing. Follow the instructions on the ping pad. 
That's it. And that is a tour of a typical American food store. Bye.